by the time you you're done your burr, yeah. the market just appreciated 15%. Exactly. And you wasted six months. Yes. Then I started buying property that needed a little bit less uh, value add. A little cosmetic. A little cosmetic shit because what would happen was the market was moving too fast that if I didn't do the small renos, it would take me too long to, to move with the market. Opportunity Does that make cost. Sense? So there's an opportunity yeah. cost of shit taking too long like this f***ed up burst strategies around here. They, they take too long. That's the f***ing problem. Yeah. They take way too long. So, in a fast market, they do. In a fast moving market, yeah, yeah exactly. In the current by market the time, we're in right now, by the time you're done your burr, yeah, the market just appreciated fifteen percent. Exactly, and you wasted six months. Yeah, so you might as well just f buy something that doesn't need anything. You're gonna make the same amount of money. So, yeah. so that was my strategy. Then what ended up happening was I ended up getting to a point where residential stopped making the same returns for me, right? So what I ended up doing, well, and this was over the course of like probably at this point we're talking you know, eight years, maybe even up to, you know, 10 years where I still do buy residential, but nonetheless, like I ended up starting to buy large scale industrial property. Okay. And people have to understand too, your expected returns were much higher than, yeah. because the market was different. Exactly. Like you're probably talking 10% plus yeah, cash yeah. on cash. Yeah, double, double percent return. Now, yeah. if you were to go in residential real estate market right now in Southwestern Ontario and try <laughs> to find something with a 10% cash on cash return mm -hmm. with little re rehab or work, whatever, mm -hmm. You'd be sitting on the sidelines for, for sure. a long time. So exactly. you, in terms I, of single family, you would yeah. have to change your strategy. Sure. But what you did is, hey, I'm used to 10%. Yep. I can't find it anymore. Yep. Markets. So I'm going to pivot to. Exactly. So that, that's industrial. the point, right? Like, so I ended up pivoting to industrial. I ended up realizing that, okay, well, the re residential market is like on fire. Okay. And I want 10% cash. I want 10% cash on cash. Office, like, you know, e-commerce is putting office space out of work basically or not fully but it will eventually it's it's, it's becoming a uh it's a, a, a squeezed market uh segment and then retail commercial is also the same thing right so people still need to make stuff in places and the places that you make stuff is industrial so i realized that but when you when you have an exploding residential market usually industrial follows but follows maybe a year or two Yep, great after, point. Great right? point. Yep. So, so I ended up accumulating a bunch of industrial property, and lo and behold, industrial property skyrocketed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So now I'm like, okay, well, what? Where can I pivot now? Mm -hmm. I can't pivot for the same type of return. So right now, I have purchased products for less return because that's the current market that we're in, and it's working. People and it need works. To, yep, it yep. works for and, different and, reasons. Yeah, and yep. and I, again, it's still cash flow. What I've done is I've gone, I've gone back into like heavy, heavy, heavy value add where I'm putting in apartment units. I'm developing commercial into residential. Mm -hmm. So now I've gotten my, my, my foot in the door where like we're doing developments, mm -hmm. uh, style real estate, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, you know, operations or whatever. So, so I've pivoted there. Okay. Well, I can't find anything else for a decent buck or whatever. Especially like th some of these projects are going to take you a year. <laughs> like, for sure. For sure. Maybe more. Now, now here's the thing. I do have the wherewithal that if they do take that long, I I can still keep going. Right, and that's the key. Most people can't, but yes, exactly. That's so I, a good I can. Point. I, I yeah. have the wherewithal to do multiple types of uh, yeah. projects at one yeah. time. If that project tied up all your capital for a year and a half, you but you it's might want to rethink it for sure because you're going to be problem. on the sidelines. Yeah. Time when yeah. I'm doing these projects too. One of the things that I establish too is managing timelines mm -hmm. and expectations on the timelines. That's mm -hmm. very important because I don't want that to happen. Even still, there is an opportunity cost when I still have my money tied up. Yeah. Right. So even even if I have money to do other things, that money being tied up at that point is still an opportunity cost. And it's Big very time. important to realize People that. People need to understand that. Exactly. So.